Campus Pennsylvania Cooking. And today is another Cast Iron Wednesday. Uh, Cast Iron Wednesday was started by Native Tears. And there's a whole host of channels that usually participate. Um, so today's a little bit different being Cast Iron Wednesday. I'm going to show off a couple of uh, my latest cast iron acquisitions. The first one um, Mike is responsible for because he actually saw on Amazon um, a large cast iron press for pretty cheap and I had a small gift card to apply to it so this lodge press actually ended up being to me like two dollars fabulous price and you can always use an extra press I actually do have one already um, and that one is a uh, pampered chef one <coughs> but now I have a good lodge one the other thing that I ended up getting is I had been wanting a large, like double burner, uh, griddle grill pan. And uh, it just so happens that one of my friends was at the local uh, brand names for less uh, local surplus outlet store here. <clears throat> and if you guys check around your areas to see if you have any of these, it's a store that basically takes um, all kinds of stuff that was damaged in shipments, partial cases, all of that stuff that can't be put out on the racks or shelves anymore, um, and they liquidated it uh, for the, for the uh, companies. So in this case, she's going through the store and she sees a pallet with a whole bunch of Lodge, double-sided, cast iron, grill griddle combos, um, that the boxes had gotten water damage to uh, housing them. So she told me about them and I went up and sure enough and they were dirt cheap and I say dirt cheap you know these are like seventy dollars and I paid like five. Five. So I haven't opened this one yet to see how it's gonna what, what the what damage it might be but it doesn't matter for five dollars I can fix cast iron. So we're gonna see what this looks like as I get her undone here and uh, when we do I'll show you depending on what's got how we're going to uh, take care of it and re-season it so a good part of today's video is going to be how you take care of your cast iron and seasoning cast iron even though a lot of today's cast iron no matter who it's made by comes pre-seasoned I always reseason anyway. So here it is, and you can see it definitely, these boxes definitely got wet. You can see here um, it's got rust on it. But we have the technology, we can fix it. So I'm going to show you how we do that. Bring a vinegar bath really works getting rust off the answer is oh yes and I've got a bunch of other pans I gotta treat and stuff but look at that it's taking all that rust right off and I'm wearing gloves obviously with this but filthy but we're gonna get this uh, we're gonna get this all cleaned up and uh, see what she looks like rinsed off so you saw the rest before Stuff is coming right off. Oh, what a difference. Just a little scrub. I'm going to grab my steel wool and just give it a little scrub. Steel wool or a uh, like chainmail works great. 
Now this is taking off all the factory seasoning, but we're going to reseason it anyway, so it's not like it matters. Because we're going to have to reseason it fully. Um, I'm probably going to do like six coats. So it's getting off all that rust. Okay guys, as you can see, that came out pretty good. So, I'm gonna finish cleaning it up here a little bit, get it rinsed off. Because then, I'm going to uh, take it back upstairs. I'm gonna put the first coat of oil on. And we're going to start seasoning this. Once we have it uh, scrubbed down, now you're pretty much down to bare, but uh, that's okay. Then I'm going to take my oil and we're going to coat this well. Make sure you get in all the crevices. Make sure that you, uh, after you scrub this down, that you, and thoroughly rinsed it, uh, make sure that you dry it well, that you get all the water off of it. You don't want any more water left in it. And you want a generous coat of oil on this. We're going to repeat this process six to eight times to get this uh, nicely seasoned again. And I put... Uh, because of the size of this one. Normally I just put a cookie tray underneath. But uh, in this case I put foil on the uh, racks below so that any drippage uh, will fall onto the uh, foil and we won't have a mess. And when you're doing this, you want to use oil with a high smoking temperature. So like a flaxseed oil or a corn oil, uh, this is canola oil, they all work. Um, you can use other oils, but um, <laughs> you might smoke out the house if you do it. So. sure you get in all the crevices good. And I'm just going to sop up the uh, excess here. And I'm going to turn it grill side down and uh, put it in the oven. Now, you want that to warm up with the oven. So, I'm going to put this to 400. You don't want to put cold cast iron that's just been washed and stuff. Put it in a warm oven. It's all going to heat up to 400 and after it's up to temperature, I'm going to let it go one to two hours and uh, pull it out and let it cool down and recoat it. And we're going to repeat this process several times to get that nonstick coating back. So, my pan is seasoned. Um, I did this probably five or six times. I used canola oil because um, that's what I had on hand for this for this round of cast iron. So take a look at it. Look at the sheen on that. And you saw how it looked all rusty and stuff before. And you saw it stripped down. And there's the griddle side. So this lodge is better than new. So that was basically how to recondition and reseason um, cast iron that's been damaged or has gotten uh, rusty or pitted. Some people will do it with grinders and whatnot, and that's certainly an acceptable way depending on what you have. Um, actually, an electrical method is another way with water. 
uh, but none of those are really uh, suitable for me uh, personally and I just like doing it this way. Um, almost everybody has a tub and has vinegar. It's cheap, it's easy, you just let time do the work and I have a bunch more uh, to do. I have some Wagners and Mariettas uh, that I have to do and I think a Griswold. So um, I'll bring you with me when I do those and recondition those. You know, but for like the seven bucks or whatever it was that I paid for the damaged uh, lodge, cast iron griddle and, and uh, uh, grill pan, you know, that's like an $80 value. Um, it was certainly worth the small amount of time that I put into it to let, let uh, the vinegar do its work and, and bring it back and then uh, season it in the oven. Um, I actually got that mostly to take up uh, to the campfire uh, when I go camping and I'm cooking over the wood fire and I'm looking forward to using it so you'll be seeing it in upcoming videos and see how it does up there on the fire. Um, seasoned cast iron is still one of the best things. A lot of people make mistakes with cast iron cooking and they think that it's not really non-stick but if it's seasoned properly and you use a low heat it is non-stick and the way to go. Um, and it gives really great flavor to your food as well. A lot of people though make the mistake of using a high heat and especially if you have an electric stove versus a gas stove that's really uh, more difficult to control. I hate electric stoves I'll just tell you. Um, especially if you're trying to do fine sauces and and other more technical things it's harder to control on an electric stove than on a gas. I think most cooks um, prefer gas just because you have so much more control and it's a different kind of heat but uh you know so keep that in mind if you're using cast iron um you know and you have an electric stove you definitely want to watch your heat you should never need to go above medium and sometimes even low will work so you want to keep that in mind um that's it for my cast iron wednesday i want to show you how to recondition uh, a cast iron uh, grill or griddle set there that i had and like I said, I'll show you as I do more of these, how they turn out. Some are worse than others. Some, some are really old and really went through uh, bad stuff. And we'll see how we do in reclaiming them. But, uh, oh, and another couple of things. When you're cleaning your cast iron, there's two acceptable methods to do it. You can use soap, but you must use a mild soap. And, um, you know, normally after I'm done with my pan, I add some water while it's still hot. It loosens that stuff up and it just swishes out, you know, with, with your dishcloth. Um, and that is the way that I normally clean my pans. If you feel the need that you need to disinfect for some reason, a mild dish soap is perfectly acceptable, just a little bit. And I know some warm soapy water, swish it out, rinse it good, dry it immediately, and re-oil. And that will, uh, you know, preserve your pan much better. Uh, some notes, I had a friend that used flaxseed oil for conditioning her pans. And flaxseed oil is great, but it does go rancid if not stored in the fridge. Um, canola oil uh, does not have that issue. Um, so I normally have been using canola oil. I have used flaxseed oil. Um, you want an oil with a high smoking temperature. So uh, like coconut oil isn't a good choice. <laughs> It'll smoke the house out. Um, but canola and flaxseed oils are the most common for seasoning your cast iron. So those are just a couple more little tips. Um, you can use uh, scrubbers in them, you know, like, like chain mail scrubbers or even like a steel chore boy, you know, if you really need to get stuff off or, or stripped down. Uh, but then you need to fully re-season it again. And that may take a couple of times of conditioning with oil, baking at 450 uh, for at least an hour. Make sure you uh, take the excess off, let that bake in. And uh, you might need to do that a few times to put it back on, but it, you can use that stuff. It's just people don't want you to use metal in the pans uh, or whatnot because you'll disturb that seasoning. But if you need to do it, you can just put the re-seasoning, you just have to re-season it and put the seasoning back on the pan and it'll be ready to go. 
Another note, um, if you're using it outside, cold weather, cast iron is sensitive to the cold. And if you take a hot pan out in the cold, or it would start, for example, uh, raining or cold hits it while it's on the fire, cast iron can crack. So keep that in mind. Don't ever shock the cast iron. You know, try to keep your uh, the stuff that's going in the pan that's not super cold um, when it's a hot pan or that it warms up with the pan. So just some tips on cast iron here for Cast Iron Wednesday. Uh, D over at Native Tears started Cast Iron Wednesday. There's a bunch of great people out there that have made yummy stuff for Cast Iron Wednesday. Uh, today I was just more of a how-to. So um, until next Cast Iron Wednesday, enjoy. Take care of your cast iron. Get out there cooking with your cast iron. Enjoy it. Break it out. Learn how to use it. Um, it's one of the best kept secrets around. Like, subscribe, and join me next time here in Helgas, Pennsylvania Cooking.